The Zika virus is a lot worse than we thought. Hey guys, this is IO, I'm Charlotte, and here is the lowdown. According to a recent study that was published in the Lancet Medical Journal this Wednesday, many babies with the Zika virus did not have microcephaly as previously thought. Microcephaly is where a child is born with an abnormally small head. Instead, the study found that babies born with the Zika virus experience developmental delays. The Zika virus is spread through a specific species of mosquito called the A. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but anyways. The illness is characterized as having mild symptoms, and sometimes people don't even know they have it, which is the scary part. The Zika actually causes invisible infections. It can be spread through the semen of an infected male, and also from a mother to a child. If a mother gets infected, it can seep into her placenta, causing the baby to be born with it. The baby can have the microcephaly birth defect, but now researchers know that it leads to other birth defects as well. The virus tends to hang out in developing brain and nerve cells and that causes the defects. Some of the defects can affect eyesight, hearing and also brain damage. It depends what part of the brain the Zika virus infects. The brain damage the babies suffer from is virtually invisible as a newborn baby and will only be apparent when the child becomes older. The Zika virus is a growing concern especially down in Rio. More than 7,000 cases of the Zika virus were registered in February alone. That number however went down to 702 in May because of the cooling temperature. Temperatures. John Sparrow, who is the coach for the men's indoor volleyball team, has actually frozen his sperm as a precaution in case he is infected with the Zika virus. He and his wife are currently trying to have another child, and if he didn't freeze his sperm, he would have to wait over a year to try again if he was infected with the Zika virus. The 2016 Rio Olympics are already in a lot of trouble. They don't need a plague to add to the pile. The police force is extremely unhappy and strapped for funds. They haven't been paid overtime in over six months. The city of Rio is waiting for a big fat check from the government that's supposed to be worth 850 million dollars. The check is supposed to cover the cost of security and also to finish the uncompleted metro. That metro was scheduled to be finished just 4 days before the Olympics are supposed to begin. I'm hoping that the Zika virus and all of these setbacks will soon subside and the Olympics will go ahead as planned. Ok guys that is all for now, thanks so much for watching IO, I'm Charlotte. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin and if you want to keep watching there's another great video for you right over here.